hello everyone welcome to figma tips and tricks tutorial today i'm going to present data visualization as line chart with an example of profile visits analytical report so here in this uh, line chart we have the three uh, different record for seven days 30 days and 90 days and uh, here we have the chart title which is having the total widgets and what is the status 73 percent less action since last week and this is the for y-axis and x-axis values and uh, this is the annotation or you can see the marker which is annoting the values is uh, above 400 and below 500 so whereas while i mouse over uh, we get the values what is the exact number so let's see the example so here it is having the seven days and uh, while i mouse over it it is showing the exact value of 450 and here 320 so in 8th may the profile widget was 450 whereas in 9th may it is 320 and so on so while I mouse over it will appear and disappear so it is the hovering effect you can use the click also if you want and then while I tap on 30 days so it will appear 7th May to 14th May and previous data which is having 29th April to 6th May 22nd April to 28th April and 15th April to 21st April the same way for the 90 days now you can see the total visit is increased because it is capturing the values from 15th April to 14th May and the previous March till April and Feb to March and this all annotation is there as a tool tip so let's see how to create this or how to use this so this file is uploaded in figma community you can duplicate from there and you can easy to edit this so here I have created uh, this all chart as a component where you can see this chart uh, which is having the row like uh, start with here row 1 2 3 so these all are a component and you can easily set the height of this like in a previous area chart bar chart column chart we have done the same thing so here if I go to the component you can see this button is having uh, been created as a component which is like a default and the selected state and this is the line so this is a component which is created and the values are varying as per the local variable so local variable is uh, created here which is like a data of the seven days values and then uh, 30 days and 90 days so what and how we have to use this we'll see here uh, so this is the e interaction which is uh, like a one chart is created in a component property so which is like a, here you can see the line data or line chart which is having 90 days 30 days and 7 days so this 7 days uh, this is the first one and the second component is the 30 days 
and then the 90 days. So we look at the first one. So here each row is assigned the value of the height. So this is the row one where you can see the height is 450 which is assigned from here row one and the height is uh, getting impacted with here. So suppose if I assign this instead of 450 we can say 250 it will impact directly to here it will come here so after uh, set it all those value while you are going to update this uh, chart so 250 150 and so on the values for the seven days once the value is done you can use the paint tool and you can attach or uh, draw a line using the paint tool so it will be the vector and uh, easy to locate this so while you are uh, creating this if you have any uh, confusion uh, to the values so you can use one thing like uh, this is the component which is created here So generally I used to do uh, like this, I used to give the uh, border and this border will appear here. So same way, uh, I think I need to update this. So same way you can use here also this border. So here it is, if it is a row one, row two, row three. So easily you can see this is the one of the rectangle and here it is taken as a frame. So frame is having uh, the circle which is annoting here the values with the height. So this circle is uh, in the top of this and whenever I am getting increase and decrease the value it is uh, going along with this frame. So the easiest way to create this, uh, so this is the simple trick to create the line chart. And once you done with the values, you can select again and uh, remove the water. And the next is hover things. So we don't need to give the interaction again and again because uh, the interaction is given here for this. So the tool tip will appear while it is uh, getting over. So here is the interaction. Mouse leave and uh, hover. And the remaining is uh, if I come to the prototype so you can see this is just a simple interaction linking with this in a component set and uh, created different uh, state like a 7 days 30 days and 90 days and button is having here the state so it will change you can easily change the button if you come to this so active and this is the default state so increasing and decreasing the date or the height of this this is the way where you can assign the value so here uh, it is showing like detached variable so the variable is created in a local here for the seven days which is like a 450 320 220 for the third row until the seven because it is the seven days captured 
so seven rows are there and here it is the tooltip uh, because uh, tooltip also we can have in this frame only but uh, i have uh, given outside so easy to arrange uh, as like a top or if you want to arrange on a left or a right so you can arrange accordingly so this hover is uh, like uh, while i am using the seven days so this over is showing here i made it uh, just for the visual this three element so from here you can make it false and uh, while you are updating the line chart you can make the all tool tip uh, true so it will be visible and you can arrange uh, very easily like uh, here i was just showing one example of this like uh, this is 220 so line will start draw from here and this 220 will easily you can move it to selecting this so same way for the 30 days value and the 90 days value so these all are easy interaction uh, you can modify or change or use very easily so that's it this is the line chart so how is the trick please let me know uh, the file is in figma community uh, so you can use it thank you thank you very much